Joining me today on NYSE Floor Talk is Abhi Ramesh. He is the founder and CEO at Misfits Market. Abhi, it's fantastic to have you here. Thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me. So Abhi, you launched the company in 2018. Tell me about how Misfits Market got started and when you expanded into a full online grocery store. Yeah, so we, we launched in 2018 and at the time, the premise was very simple. It was, we're gonna go get ugly produce from farms that they couldn't sell to other retailers. We're gonna put them in a box and we're gonna ship them to people's households and they're going to feel good because they save food and they're gonna save money on their groceries. Um, so that was how the company got started. That took off very quickly and um, you know we, we scaled tremendously over the first year and a half. Very quickly, we realized that there was a much larger opportunity and that ugly produce is a, a big part of it, but that there was an opportunity to build this sustainable grocery store online. Um, and so that, you know, probably late 2019, early 2020 is when we started expanding into other items. Um, and and the, the goal since then has become be a true grocery store online that rescues food more broadly and uses the, that rescued food to provide value to the consumer. So today we offer you know, almost a thousand SKUs across the platform, everything from of course, produce to meat and seafood, deli, dairy, all of those items, all rescued and delivered to you at a discount. Now, I've heard you discuss how you've built a unique supply chain focused on eliminating food waste while expanding access to fresh and nutritious food across the United States. So tell me a little bit more about this and why a new food supply chain was necessary. Yeah, this is something that we spent a lot of time on and a lot of capital on too. So we have raised north of half a billion dollars for the company over the past few years. And a large chunk of that capital has gone towards building this new food, food value chain, food supply chain. Part of it is when you look at perishable infrastructure in the United States, so shipping perishable items and moving them from point A to point B, that infrastructure was built 150 years ago and hasn't really been innovated for the direct consumer world we live in today. And so when we started this company uh, you know, five years ago, even something as simple as shipping produce in a box to someone's doorstep was really challenging operationally and logistically. So we decided we'd have to go build all of this from the ground up. So we operate our own warehouses. We have our own logistics fleet and last mile delivery. Um, everything from the actual sourcing at the farm level all the way to the delivery to the doorstep, we control end to end. Um, and we control it, one, because we wanted to, two, because we had to, and we had to build all that infrastructure from the ground up. So in 2024, this year, you launched Fulfilled by Misfits a dedicated B2B service for perishable brands to store, pick, pack, and fulfill and deliver products <laughs> nationwide via your logistics platform. So how did it come about and what makes your offerings unique? So this was, um, I'll use the cliche analogy. This, it was kind of our Amazon moment. Um, what we realized was over the past five and a half years, we built all of this infrastructure to power our own online grocery business, to deliver our goods to our customers. Um, but what we also realized was there are a ton of perishable brands out there, direct consumer brands, brands that are selling to retail that needed a perishable supply chain, that needed warehousing space, they needed pick and pack space, they, did, they didn't have the capital to go build what we had built um, themselves, nor were there partners out there, third party partners that could do that effectively for their businesses. And so we said, hey, if we built this for ourselves, why don't leverage, why don't let, let other brands leverage it as well? Um, so this is, we kind of think this is a, it's a new, a big new chapter for our business. We're going to continue to grow the online grocery business. But we're also not now starting to allow other brands to leverage all of the assets, all the infrastructure we've built over the years um, to power their perishable supply chain. So now tell me what's next for Misfits Market? What do you, what are you focused on? Well, I think, you know, we essentially think that there is a huge opportunity for this Amazon of perishables. Um, I, I've used that internally a lot. I've started to use that externally too. Hopefully, catches on. Um, you know, the, in part, we, we don't think that grocery delivery has been solved for the vast majority of the country today. If you live in you know, a dense urban area, you have access to online grocery delivery from a variety of different players. If you live outside of those areas, there aren't really services that that, that cater to you and deliver fresh, healthy food to your doorstep. And so we're building that out. And at the same time, we're building the piping. We're building the infrastructure for perishable supply chain in a way that just doesn't exist today. Um, so our view is we're building the Amazon and Perishables. We kind of think this is the first or second inning for us. And we still have a long way to go and we're super excited about the opportunity. Well, it definitely sounds like exciting times ahead for Misfits Market. And it's wonderful to have you on Floor Talk. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you so much.